Howdy folks, beautiful day here in Virginia at Polyface uh, Lease Farm. I gotta do some fence fixing so I figured y'all might like to watch. So these are the fences that we divide up our farms into eight or ten acre paddocks depending on the size of the field and how the, how the hills are and stuff. Just single strand aluminum wire and then we'll just use short little wood posts. So we're just getting ready to move the cows and we have some, have some fence problems. So I'm going to stick a couple new posts in and we'll get her all fixed up. Now this is a real post pounder. We call it the He-Man post pounder. It's designed for two people but it just takes me. It's about Basically, it's a cannon with handles attached to it. it weighs about 80 pounds. That one's not going anywhere. We like to use black locust posts because they're really rot resistant. And we'll cut them with the sawmill and then I cut this one down with the chainsaw a little bit so it'll fit inside. This post is gone completely. So I didn't even have to pull it out. Man, a couple of these will really get you breathing hard. And sometimes we'll just have a post that's a little wobbly, but still got the wire attached. You can just turn this thing over and hit it with the butt. That's a little dangerous though, because if you miss, you'll take your leg right off. All right. So I just keep an old hand brace in my truck. So I don't want to keep a drill in there with the battery because I know this is always going to work. So we used to always use fencing staples and try and st staple these on, hammer the staple in, but these uh, outdoor screws work way better and last way longer and hold the insulator on way, way tighter. So we're gonna want the fence nose height to a cow. If the cow's walking, its nose is gonna be about as high as your fist. That's what we'll stick the insulator. Nice thing about screws is you can also, if the screw's not too big and the post isn't too hard, you can fix insulators and stuff with just your Leatherman. I'll show you on the next post. All right, that one's fixed. This wire might be too short for the next post, but we might have to splice a piece in. So nose height, as high as your fist. Now this is a solid post and 
with all this leverage this brace gives me, I barely even have to try. It just spins right in. But I just, this is just in the back seat of my truck. And whenever I need it, I just grab it out. All right, so if I didn't have my brace, I could use the screwdriver on my Leatherman. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, it's gonna take a while. And that's a whole lot easier than having to try and yank a staple out with a pair of fencing pliers and stick a new one in. And then the post will bounce when you hammer it. Anyway, and sometimes you'll have an insulator break off. Well, the staple, you just gotta go get a new insulator. With a screw, you can just make a new hole and screw it back on. Just stick the screws through some other piece of plastic. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Right, it's gonna work. There we go. That's how you fix fence with wood posts.